welcome to my chess channel here is four bullet games that I um, played today state which is the 20th of August 2018 on chess.com so bullet is one minute chess of course so here is the first game here Now here I play obviously queen e2 to defend my e5 pawn. And here black plays knight d4 and I thought that black would play after knight takes d4, knight d4 back. Hence my move was, um, was the following, queen e d1 because I thought that the knight was going to take back there on d4 so I lose my e5 pawn ouch rook e5 now this is not something that I think is any good it's just what I played and here uh, just queen g3 should um, be quite good for black but obviously we're playing one minute chess king h2 so I don't always um, choose the best games sometimes I choose the games that I might still win the game but I don't choose necessarily the game that um, I played so well and or whatever that means e5 ouch um, f5 and here, queen e2, g5, rook e1, not sure what we're doing here. And uh, here, good for black would be just pawn takes. Because I can't go queen e8, because a rook e8, rook e8, queen f3, etc. Everyone can see that. I play, um, so I play d4, so... Uh, e d4 was good for black in my opinion knight h4 queen here queen here and my opponent um, exceeded the speed limit or the time limit and so Julie lost this game now I will uh, open the next game which is number that was number four so i might just stick my reading glasses on it's getting that bad number four so we'll go to number three now and uh gotta have these off so this is game number two now when white gets met by um, black capturing on e4 it gives them the option of not necessarily placing their bishop on g2 they can all of a sudden change and um, go into other chess opening lines so that's what I thought straight away knight e5 even though it's one minute chess bishop c5 this is probably a bit kinder for me to meet than uh, queen um, queen somewhere like e7 instead of bishop c5 anyway bishop e2 now watch how my opponent goes here here they probably white could probably just uh, maybe lose this but I'm not entirely sure if it's any good or not because I might just capture and then but anyway I'm not sure so I think that probably black could play 94 h4 I mean h5 bishop f3 knight g4 knight b3 now the queen goes right back to d8 right back to its ownership square I go h3 queen h4 this is um, this queen's coming back into the fray all of a sudden and uh, so I've got an exercise for you here. 
Um, I've shown this sort of thing before, but it's quite good in chess to know this wee little theme. Um, G5, I play bishop G3 here, thinking I've won my opponent's queen, but what did I miss? So after bishop G3 here, what can black play that black missed as well, because it's one minute chess. So what did black miss? So I play bishop G3, what can black play? It's not hard. So if I play bishop g3, then black can play queen g3. And um, as you would appreciate, I cannot recapture. And all of a sudden, because of the bishop on b6 square, so I cannot recapture. And also black is threatening queen h2 checkmate. Bishop f2, sad. Bishop f2, knight f2, rook f2. G4 comes. So black really wants to just, if I take this, okay, then it's really, really dangerous for me here. So because... This is now a big, big threat. So take, take, not uh, hg2, I play rook g2. With a cunning plan, Mr. Blackadder, of queen takes queen on h4. Yay, bruh. And, and like I've said before, you've got no time to play chess in one minute chess. And so my opponent fails here by playing bishop h3. I take the queen. The rook gets captured. King takes. And now the rook check. Oh, checks. I go king h2. I should probably go uh, here or here or here even. Uh, but it's, it's all right, king h2. But... Um, it leads me into reasonably um, difficult waters hereafter. Queen h5. Do you get what I'm going to do soon? Castles. Now what's black threatening? The proverbial rook h8, even though I'm quite some pieces up. And I missed it. Knight c5. And if rook takes here, of course... Then bishop g4 here pins the rook and it's pretty final. If rook here, then knight f6 should suffice for white and just march the king up or something similar. Just about anything other than my losing my queen on h5 embarrassment moment. So king d7 happened. So I'm getting out of the way of checks by playing king g3 i'm getting out of the way of black giving a check straight away even though there are checks here like uh duh but not really good so b6 rook f1 c5 rook f7 now panic move happens or maybe they play this move hoping soon they play this move hoping that i don't set as rook f8 it's a good try in one minute chess because i might have um been automatically going to play something else but i was watching i played rook f8 now there are a whole lot of moves here that white can play but i played this move this move this move now after king a7, which is the move, of course. This is checkmate. There's also, this is checkmate. There's also, this is checkmate. There's also, this and this is checkmate. Uh, so forth. But I played rook a8 and that was the end of that game. So I actually won that game. Surprisingly enough. Now, the third game for today. Once I get my bearings. 
as this game here. Uh, so I'll flip the board, obviously I'm black. Now I'm finding that some people in one minute chess play really really good one minute chess for some reason. I don't understand why. Thank you White. You've just opened up my white squared bishop diagonal which is really really cool. H4 B5 just uh, wanting to look at possible advancements in the future but not necessarily right here and now. Now I play a move that I would not play normally in a match game, probably. Uh, hold on, I still haven't got there yet. I'm just jumping ahead a little bit. G5. Now, like I say, it's probably not a move I would play in Lightning Chess. Um, I'd probably get away with it anyway. Now, here we've got Checkmate in two moves. Um, of course, black, white can play better moves than they play. I played rook g8 check, and really queen takes, uh, queen g3 is not really an option, but king here is a possibility. But king there did not happen. The only thing wrong with this is this. And that's check with checkmate to follow straight away. I'm sure everyone can see that. Queen H1 is checkmate. Now the final game for today is the following one. If it will listen to me. Oh, I've already got it set up here, haven't I? A little bit similar to the other um, one minute game and maybe this was an automatic move by black to b6 with their knight from here to there. They might have expected me to play c4 but it's also another good reason to play it because um, there's not going to be some sort of opportune moment where I play c4 hitting the knight. Bishop c5 here I should probably just play simply this move. But I don't, I'll play bishop g2, just continuing normal development. But my opponent, uh, obviously wanting to startle me in one minute chess, played bishop c f2. King f2, of course, d4, d5. Now I play a really odd move. This is really odd. And it wasn't a finger drop, I think. Here I would normally just want to play c3 and be solid but I went c5, c4 I mean, but my opponent equaled the task and went c5. I took, now even here is way better than what I played bishop e3, but who knows I might be wrong. Bishop e3 is defending the c5 pawn. And here I start to overreact with this knight. I play a3, knight comes into check, go king here, knight takes, and I'm actually giving black lots of counterplay. Here I should just now play bishop here or similar. Um, something better than what I play. So I play rook b1, c3 happens, and all of a sudden black's got we thoughts maybe of playing bishop b5 which are annoying and obviously I can't enter into any of these squares because they're all taken up by opposing piece play knight d3 now here black can do well with c2 and actually if c2 
probably the best I've got, which is quite mean really and horrible, is rook takes b5, queen c1, king uh, king d3, or similar. But anyway, I don't. I don't. So let's get on with this session. Now the rook's got no play, the king's got no play, really, and I'm threatening, of course, knight a6 check if I so wish. Maybe I might be threatening this. And so here comes uh, my mistake in this one minute bullet game as I play king up here, which isn't a mistake in itself. Rook b5, here I've got king d6, and it's finished after that. I could let black just go mad, okay, with the resulting um, play. After this move, I can let white, uh, black go um, crazy and move all their pawns and take the, the knight or something with the bishop. Else if the rook moves off here, it's bishop check, etc. But I could just let white go, black go, um, pushing everything to stalemate and then checkmate with pawn to e7, this move here. So I'll cancel here, but I missed out, I played bishop a5, thinking after rook a5, I'm just going to go knight b7 check and win the rook, or queen, my pawn on d8. But I failed to mention to myself or notice that that's check, I'm walking into check. So that now I play king d6. And here is um, black plays rook c5. So that if I do go um, king c5, then black can get out, but not before. And I simply play e7 and it's checkmate. And that's the end of the session. I hope this one recorded properly because the last one didn't. And that's David Wiegener uh, over and out from Christchurch, New Zealand, down in the deep, 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 deep south. And that game, all those games were played today um, on my cell phone. Thank you very much.